A brutal act of violence overseas took the life of a Tennessee missionary. Authorities say Roberta Edwards was trying to help poor families in Haiti when she was shot and killed in her car. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb spoke with people who knew Edwards today. And Jason, what are they saying about her? Rory, they're saying Roberta Edwards was one of the kindest people they knew. She spent 20 years in Haiti trying to help others. She was my best friend. I loved her like a sister. There are times that Bobby Solly still, still can't believe what's happened. I still reach for my phone periodically to call her and say we're home and to say you wouldn't believe what's happening and and I catch myself and know that I can't. Bobby met her friend Roberta Edwards years ago when both were doing missionary work in Haiti. That's where Roberta was Saturday night in her car when her church in Henderson says someone intentionally blocked the road in front of her, got out and shot and killed her. No one knows exactly why the shooting happened, but today her friend Bobby is doing the best she can to keep her mind on the good memories. Roberta was the most fun person. She, she, her laugh was, when she laughed, she, you know, you just laughed all over herself. Roberta had been doing missionary work in Haiti for 20 years, and friends say she knew how dangerous it could be, but with moments like this, kids surrounding her to give her hugs, she said it didn't matter. So there's no telling how many pounds of rice and beans that she has given to keep children alive. There's no telling how many pregnant women she has, has helped throughout the years. Friends say she'd often encourage others to serve too, even when they thought they alone could never make a difference. And Roberta, she even pounded on the table that night and said, I would rather die doing the Lord's work than sitting and doing nothing. And she did. A four-year-old foster child was traveling with Edwards at the time of the attack. That foster child has yet to be found. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Jason, thank you. That's a tough story to follow.